Welcome to Advent Week 2 and the year's just flown by hasn't it and December often seems to go much quicker than any other month of the year. Um, it's been an odd year to say the least but uh, despite that God remains faithful, he remains constant, he remains present and I pray that this month we will feel his presence even more than we have done in the days that have gone by. Just our love to you as we celebrate uh, this Advent season. And we're always available, Amanda and I, by phone or text or email. Let us know if you have any need that you think we can fulfil in this Advent season. We have been praying for you. We continue to pray for you. And uh, know that our God um, is, is equal to anything that we need. And uh, he supplies all our needs. This year I've been actually very much thinking about his presence, his provision and his protection. And I pray that over each one of us. Bless you as we worship together this morning, week two of Advent. Good morning. Today we're the clean-up crew. Our list are long, even in this strange mess where we live these days. And we want to do it right. We want to be safe. But we want to be able to enjoy the season. We've got work to do to put right what has gone wrong to heal what is broken and to mend the relationships and to prepare for the company that will come. The prophet Isaiah reminded us that there is work to be done. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. When God comes in, then healing is to be found, but we need to make the way. We need to open the door into our lives. We hold on to our faith that the Lord God we worship is not far from us and that we can clear the way for that God to come and dwell with us. We wait in faith that the company is coming. O come, O come, Emmanuel. <laughs> 